Hello, welcome to today's class on C static libraries. Okay, we have done the quiz today. We have done the quiz. You can check the other videos for the quiz. Now, what we are going to do now is the tax. And this tax, um, uh, people have been, uh, 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 have been busy. If not, I would have done it since. But I just want to quickly go qu over it. Do I have done it this morning? So let me quickly go over it for you so that you understand what we are going to do here. So we are going to create a we are going to create a static library, right? And this library, we all we need now is to get the function. This all this function here, this header function, we are going to create first a header file. Then after we create the header file, then we are going to create, we are going to implement the function for this header file all this header file we are going to create an, a, a function for them so let me quickly take you to what i put together i will drop it i'll drop the link on my on the on the video description so that you can go there and use it okay so what you do is first thing you do first to answer that question first thing you do after you create your repository okay let me walk you through the let me go to my sandbox first let me go through my sandbox okay the first thing you do you seed into your your seed into your repository and if you, so if you don't have it you create this you create this this repository you can create it remember at least at this level we know we don't need to go through this we just jump the process. So you create this this repository here, this, this directory rather. You create this directory, you create this directory, okay? You create this directory here. Yeah, the you create this directory. What's wrong with my keyboard? You create this directory. This directory, the 09 static library, then you enter. Then the next thing you do, the first thing you are going to once you enter, you create your readme file. Okay, create your readme file first. That's the first thing you do. You create your readme file. Then the second thing you do is to create your header file. Okay, I will drop the header file somewhere. Hold on. So I will drop the header file here. So let me drop the header file for you. So when you come here, yeah, I'll drop the header file here. So all you just need to do is to copy this header file, create your header file. Then you are going to create all this, this implement all this function. So the first thing you are going to do, remember from here, this they give from this place. You can see after you create your header function, your header file. The next thing you are going to do, you can see all this list of function here. This function, or all the C, they are all C file. It is when you, it is when you, you you use the 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 object file when you compile it. It is when you compile it that you have this dot zero. Okay, all these are C. You use it. You create a C file for all this thing, which is all this file name here. You see it here. You don't need to create this once you create the C file. So for example, now underscore put car, this is the this is the file. So let me do the example now. For example, you copy this name like this, you come here, you say V, you enter it. Okay, boom. You enter it like this, you see, then you go back again, go back again. Right, you go back again. You come, there are 20 of them, so you do all of them. Type them, you copy this one again. You go, oops, sorry, you go, you copy this one again. You go back, you go back, you say, What was the name? It is something, it's, it's uh, three. Okay, the name is there. Sorry, I haven't copied it. So you drop it, you enter. You see, this is just like this. You continue like that until it's completed. You complete all the, all of them. There are 20 numbers, so you complete all of them like this. Then when you finish doing it, 
make sure you you bring the header first. When you or when you finish this one, then you create the header. This is the header file. Okay. Then you create this header. You know how to create the header now. You just copy the you you put the header where you used to create the header. Then the next thing you are going to do for us to create this static library, this for us to answer that quest, this particular question here. For us to answer this particular question here, we have to first of all use this code. This code you see here, this GCC compiler, GCC C zero, the name of the file in C. Then it's going to so it's going to compile them or it's going to compile all the needed function. Okay, you can see here this you compile to compile all the function listed above into the object file okay it will, all of them it will compile them into the object file then then the then it then it use the uses the arrow ar utility to combine into a single static library so it uses this to combine into stuff. So the, what you just need to do is to copy. Make sure you you create the header first. Once you create the header, then you come here. You copy this code as it is like this. Make sure you don't make sure you don't do mistake because it will be harder for you to debug because they are much. Then when you copy it like this, then you come copy it like this. Copy it straight like this. All you just need to do is to come here. You don't need to create it, but just drop it here like this. Just copy, just paste it here. Just paste it here, okay? Let me type it so that you see. Just paste it here. Okay, just paste it here. Just paste everything there, okay? So when you paste it there, copy everything. That's number step four. Then you copy all the step four and paste it there. Then when you paste step four there, it will give you another line. Then you come here. You copy all the all the step step five okay? step four step four step five copy all the step five copy all the step five all this code here yeah. you copy them and you drop it same you copy them and you drop it here again okay because I've done it now it will it will it will, it will be doubled so you drop it here again once you drop it here that's the five then you will come now and type this code inside just type the code here that was your steps what step six right then step seven is this one so this step six is this guy here this is the guy here this guy here remember then you will see your code appear like this listed like this okay then when you then the steps this is the steps seven then when you drop this step seven, you will see your code listed like this. You see global, you see the name, you see T, and like that. You see global table like that. Then when you are done with this step, next thing you are going to do is to come now to create a a main file. This main file here, you copy all that is inside here like this from here. You copy all this place, okay? You copy it and drop it inside your main file. That's step what main. That this is the main file. Call create the main file. Then you copy this code, put inside that. That's the step. Step eight. Then the next thing you are going to do. So you know how to create it now using this format, using this uh, V. So using this and then you paste the code. So then when you are done, this is the code. You just copy there and paste. Then the step nine is to use the GCC compiler that is provided to us. You see the GCC compiler here. This is it here. So use this GCC compiler. Use the GCC compiler. Use the GCC compiler. Okay. Then after you use the GCC compiler, then you use this. You, 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 you after you compile it, then you run the code with this uh, word here, yeah. the with the file name there. So you can see that step ten. Then step eleven is to add them individually so that you give them the right name. Okay. Add them individually. Add this one first, then commit it and push it to GitHub. Don't add all. If you add all, you will add all in the entire twenty something file, and your work will be your work will be rough. Okay, just add these two. Add this 
to the add this to git com commit it and push then add the header file also commit and push then add the 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 readme file also then if you want to if you want you you cannot hide the 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 other file okay or you just leave them there okay so that is what you need to do then when you are done you go and check your answer you check your answer well that these are the steps then once you once, once, then once you are done this is it i just did it now okay uh, I just have to do it now so that I can show you how it is being done. Okay, so make sure that you, you follow the step that I've given you. I will drop the material on the beside the video so that you just go and copy, copy it, and follow the steps that I've given you. Okay, I hope this will serve you better. If you want the, if you want it in, if you're not comfortable with it, you can still chat me up so that we'll, we'll book a session to walk you through okay so this is the but this is the text i'll just save it here and uh, make it shareable for you okay okay let me just call it a uh, static so let me remove this okay let me just make it let me make it every person that the link can share can use it okay let me now give it a name um so, Okay. Okay. So I will share this then the number two question I will also add it up. Or let me just let me do both together. So for the number two question. I don't know this number two question. For number two question, we have to. For number two question, first thing you are going to do, you just first of all create this five force. Create this file like this. Create this file first. Let me let's do it together. Okay. You create this file. Let me copy the name. This is the name. So the first thing we do here, you copy it like this. That's for number two. The tax two. Tax two question. So just make sure you, you don't mix it up. So I'll do it on one video so that you can have it. So you all you just need to do is to create the V okay then you enter it okay you can see you can see the you can see the code so so this number one question when you you, you put the syntax or suppose you put it the syntax then you close exit right after you exit let me clear the table then the next thing you are going to do here is to follow the step here I'm coming is to follow the step here okay so the next thing you are going to do is to follow this step you come here you enter you copy this one you go there you enter it you paste it like this you enter it boom you see it that's one then you come here okay that's one then you put you come here you run the code okay then you come here you, you enter the code you press enter let me reduce my screen so that you get it then you press enter okay then it, the code will, will run then the next thing you are going to do you take the lx to check for all the all the A5, you will hit it. Then when you enter, enter the, to get the A or the A5. After this one, so you enter to compile. Take some time. 
ten to one. Okay, then you take the A five. Okay, you can see them there, right? You can see them in the terminal. You can see them in my terminal, right? Okay. Now the next thing you are going to do is to come here, pick all the syntax this way, then you go back, then you put it, enter. You see now. So from here, all you just need to do is to hit huh? add, not add all. Just add only the file name, the file name, which is the create, sorry, which is the create, okay, which is this file, that's the only file you enter, then you enter it, okay, after you enter it, then you commit it, give it the question that they give you there, then you commit it, then you commit it, then you push to git okay then when you push to git you check your answer okay when you push to git you check your answer okay you check your answer check your answer okay that's so that's all okay So I push you get to check the answer. That is all. So I hope that you subscribe for more content. I hope this is able to help you. Please subscribe. Thank you.